Well, well, well. Here we are once again. It's F1 Esports season. This is the 2019 F1 Esports series. This is event number one for the Chinese Grand Prix. Codemasters. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why do we qualify at China every single time? Can we not make four rounds of Monaco a thing, please? No? Okay. Welcome, guys, to F1 Esports Qualifiers. This is the part of the competition where I get to find out just how crap I am up against the rest of the world. So, you know, I love the F1 Esports series. Don't love the qualifiers so much because, well, we get a big slice of humble pie every single year. This time, we're going to see how close we can get um, China. Not my favorite track in the world, but we're going to see what we can do. If you're new to my channel, we came pretty close last season. We managed to get into the wildcard route. We then got absolutely destroyed by Simon in the time trial event. Who set world records. And you know me, I don't set world records. But anyway, let's see if we can change history, make history more like, and qualify at my worst track on the game. China. Let's go. It's now time to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. It's time for the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai. All right, here we go, chapos. If you have ever done a qualifying event like this, you will know that there are many, many restarts, as you would have seen from my stream the other day, probably as well. So, yeah, just bear in mind there were so many outtakes, so many mistakes, uh, moments of just pure rage where you just, you're trying to push too hard and then you just overstep the boundaries and then that is game over. As well as the mistakes I was making, my PC would often freeze and completely disrupt my run as well. So that was always fun. On this attempt here, you can see I'm doing my best Sebastian Vettel impression, which is, uh, you know, what you want to see but after a couple of attempts we uh, finally managed to bag one in so here we are with the full run I'm using the typical China time trial setup if you look at anyone inside the top 10 with a legit time you'll see this setup all I've done is change the uh, arrow to 1-8 wings uh, because I feel like I was getting the most out of 2-9 and I just felt like maybe I was a little too s slow on the straights so we're going to go for a bit more straight line speed and hope that that can give us some free lap time, I suppose. I just feel like the, the car was a little bit too draggy on the straight. So we'll see what we can make of this. A good first sector, I've noticed, is a low 25. Uh, if you can get like a 25-1 or, or better, then you're on a pretty dang good lap. This one in particular, 25-6. So this was only my first uh, bank of time that I got in. Uh, on this day, but I did go and improve on my first sector on the first lap massively um, once I started to sweat a whole lot more. So I think the best time I did get in the first sector on the first lap is a 25.4, a low of 0.4. So that was pretty decent, but I still got some ways to go to improve that a little bit. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's set up. I think it's all down to uh, the way that I'm driving the car. So uh, if you, it, feel like you've hit a brick wall in terms of pace, try and look at videos like mine or other people's. Um, one guy I was looking at on PS4, he got like a top six time uh, when he set the time and uh, I was able to pick up a few driving styles that he was doing and I apply that in the next run that you'll see after this one and it definitely did help. Um, but on this first one, I was just driving my way with my setup kind of and uh, seeing what I could muster with this. You know, at the time when I was driving this, I'm like, oh, there's no way I can drive any faster than this. I'm, I'm pushing as hard as I can. I'm getting the absolute maximum out of it. But when I watch this footage back, I'm like, wow, I'm so slow. Like, there's, I can improve here. I can improve there. Of course, I'm watching it with hindsight. But it's just very interesting to watch um, and compare anyway. So if you do have a capture card, I would recommend uh, watching back your footage and see where you can improve. But uh, anyway, we're in the 34s, low 34s. Uh, pace is a lot better than what I was managing in the stream uh, from earlier on in the week. Um, ideally, you want to be in the 33s every single lap, but at this stage, I just don't have that raw pace to get there at the moment. Um, ideally, as well, you want to be catching Hamilton on lap 53 on the back straights. Um, 
if, if you don't catch him by lap 53, then you're not really going to be qualifying for esports. You need to be uh, catching him uh, on this back straight at minimum to set yourself up for the second half of the race. The way that these esports events are run as well is there's like a, they 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 punish you for being slower because you'll catch the AI at a worse spot. So basically, you'll look after yourself by catching the AI earlier and then giving yourself DRS and making yourself even faster. It's like a, it's a bit like a snowball effect that I've noticed that happens a lot in these qualifier events. Like here you can see I'm catching Hamilton in the middle sector and having to hold back a little bit. I'm getting a bit of uh, dirty air, so I'm catching him one lap later than what I ideally should be. This is what I should be doing on lap 53, um, and I should be just about getting into DRS and soaring past him um, and boosting my lap time. So, yeah, I'm a lap late to the party, but we're going to make the move sick now. Around the outside, my PC is stuttering, which is another problem with the game. And it stopped me from opening my DRS for a few seconds there, so thanks a lot for that one. Hamilton challenging me into the hairpin. No, thank you. I do not want to get involved in your battle. Thank you very much. Through the final corner, when you encounter Hamilton and get DRS, that will be your best lap attempt normally. Uh, we actually went slower, so that's not a great run from me there. Now catching up to uh, Max Verstappen. I think you want to be catching him on lap 55, I think. I'm not entirely sure because I'm not that experienced with catching and passing Verstappen. I think this is the only time I've done it so far in all of my attempts. And even here you can see I'm catching him in a less than ideal scenario. I went purple to the first sector. We're getting held up here, just having to sit behind Verstappen because it's not effective to overtake him in the middle sector, I'll just end up losing time. You can see we're down in our sector here. So we'll get DRS here, I suppose, seeing if we can set up a nice exit. Max is uh, making me think twice a little bit, again, costing me more time. I don't get slipstream. I will get DRS. Um, but yeah, overall, a bit of a messy run, despite it being my best one to date so far. We'll see where it puts us on the leaderboards. You saw, would have seen at the start of the video, I was 121st on PC, so we'll hopefully improve by a little bit and see how far up the order this can get us. I think it's top 10 or top 5, get invited to the online race, which will get you into the pro draft, but that is our first run in the books, our first sweaty run. I, I don't really count the, the live stream that I did the other day, that was me just really setting a banker. This time, this was me fully focusing and seeing what I could do. We improve. I think we improved by a second or so. A second and a half over what I did in the stream. And yeah, gets P4. The objective, I think, is P5 or P4. 35 seconds off the pace. Um, and a time that was not quite good enough. We didn't get in the 33s that time, unfortunately. But it gets us 88th place in the world. So we move up a couple of places. The guys uh, right at the pointy end. Uh, well, the guys in the 20s are cheating. But Fabrizio Donoso is the leader, uh, legitimate leader of the first event. He is uh, pretty dang quick in the F1 Esports series. So is Formula Danny. He got second last year in the finals. Drives some Mercedes. Yeah, that's the caliber of driver we are looking at here. And it's really good to see the other guys as well having an attempt at it to see where they stand. Uh, gives you a bit of a benchmark to see what you can do. But now I'm going to have another go. I am going to change my driving style. I was watching this guy on PS4 and he was using the gears a whole lot differently uh, and just doing subtle little things which I think were helping in getting some extra lap time out. So I'm going to apply those in this next run and see just how much of an improvement I can make. Of course, in between the last run that I just got in and the next one that you're about to see, there was a lot more crashes, a lot more mistakes, and just, yeah, a lot of frustrating moments that got in the way. I did a lot of different things to the setup in the end. Uh, what you're seeing now is, um, yeah, the end result of, of the hours of blood, sweat, and tears culminating all into one. So setup is, again, the same. I think it is 2-9 wings, but I bear in mind, I did play with a lot of different settings. I tried 11 ballast, 111 wings. I tried higher downforce and lower ballast but in the end uh, the sweet spot that I found was the setup that I already had right from the start so either 1.8 wings or 2.9 wings take your pick it's uh, pretty much gravy for you but here we go final attempt it's very important to make sure 
you keep up the speed to start off this lap for some reason the game is bogged down massively in eighth gear so getting it up in a rich and overtake mode is the best solution i have found this guy that i was watching on ps4 and i keep you know referencing him because he's the fastest you know guy that i've found on youtube at the moment so he's kind of my benchmark at the moment he was doing 25 ones i just did a 25 four which you know i was pretty happy about but i found that he was you revving out the gears a whole lot more up through the gears and in parts of the circuit like here he was revving it out in sixth gear and even on the start finish straight he was revving the guts out of it in seventh gear and not even shifting up to eighth the reason why you'll see people like him do it and other you know aor drivers is they like to use engine braking a whole lot more to slow the car down and it just, it's just faster i suppose but it was something that I found to be really, really hard to shake uh, in terms of a habit. I, I kept on shifting up to 8th gear knowing that it was losing me time and that I needed to stay in 7th gear, but my brain was just... or I was just automatically shifting up in 8th sometimes and I'd find myself shifting back down to 7th to try and change my way of driving. That's the hardest thing. Once you get into a habit, it's hard to change it. So it, this is a big work in progress for me. Um, and who knows, we'll see how far we can come. Uh, over the course of the four esports events, but it doesn't help that I'm very, very rusty at this stage. But I have sharpened the knife a little bit. I seem to be a little bit more in tune with the game at the moment. That's a 35-0 on the first lap. I did do a couple of 34-9s on the banker lap, uh, which is decent. Um, but when it comes to the rest of the laps, you want to be in the 33s. You've, s you've seen I've done a 34.2, which is pretty solid. But again, you need to be in the 33s to really make sure that you can catch Hamilton on this lap which i don't think i'm going to do even though this is my best attempt so far going purple to the first sector um again other driving tips i can you know tell you about is using first gear to help rotate the car especially at lower speed corners like that hairpin there shifting up to shifting down to first sorry and then shifting back up to second as soon as you're on the power to you know make sure you don't cause so much wheel spin again right there shifting down in the second then straight back up into third to get the rotation but also a nice flow out of the corner coming into this little corner here second and then shifting up to third as we swing it right very important to keep the car as far to the right here as you possibly can you can get on the power earlier and it's a lot faster than keeping it to the left and running out wide that's uh yeah a big tip for this circuit Battery usage, using overtake on the straights, pretty obvious stuff. Uh, using low or none in the middle sector, just so you can use more on the straights. This is all stuff you probably should know, but if you're new to the games, then this is pretty helpful knowledge anyway. I mean, hot lap, so I can get DRS off of Hamilton on this straight and maybe overtake him into turns one and two, possibly. But you can see we're still not getting DRS, even though we do set a purple time. 1 minute 33.9, that is my PB so far. But it's still not quite good enough. As you can see, we're catching up to Hamilton here. At the worst time, I can't overtake him. Now I'm just stuck behind him. And at this corner here, he's just parking it on the apex. And then he comes over on me. Completely and utterly ruins the lap. And that is the end of this run. Even though we're on our best run, we've lost five tenths in the first sector. And after that, I just lost my rhythm. I lost my flow and was pretty pissed off as well, to be honest. Because I've been driving this for the last three hours-ish. And it all just came undone. So, it's diminishing returns. The faster you are, obviously, the faster... The, the easier you set yourself up for later on in the events. Uh, because I caught Hamilton in a bad spot, I lost more time on this attempt. I'm not even going to actually overtake Verstappen. So, because... I was faster than what I was before, but not fast enough. It's actually screwed me over more because I've caught him in a bad spot. So, moral of the story, make sure you are fast enough to catch the AI in a good spot and don't get caught out by following the AI through twisty parts of the racetrack. That's uh, the best advice I could give, I suppose. So weird, isn't it, how I was faster than what I was before, but just because I caught the AI at a bad time, it's it screwed me over more. It's, uh, yeah, interesting. I just need to find that extra three or four tenths on the first couple of laps, and then I will catch Hamilton um, on lap 53. I'll get DRS, I'll get Slipstream, and that'll help me twofold. Because A, I'm faster at the start, and then B, I get the... the 
on a slingshot of flying past Hamilton, and that just sets you up perfectly for the rest of the run. It's uh, a trait that has been, you know, in every F1 Esports qualifying so far in the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, you just need to have that raw pace. Otherwise, yeah, you uh, tend to get screwed. But yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. i got to change my driving uh, style a little bit. I need to adapt to what the fast guys are doing. There's no excuses. I need to get back into the rhythm of the game again. And uh, yeah, just knuckle down and, and grind, I suppose. There's no real... Uh, I don't know. I'm not placing any expectations on myself to qualify this year. I've got other arrangements uh, behind the scenes. So I'm just having fun seeing where I can qualify, as are a lot of other esports drivers who are actually already signed up with teams for this year. They're just having to go for fun as well and seeing where they can muster. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this in the future, feel free to let me know. Um, I can get a whole lot more in depth with you if you like. But on this occasion, I was a little bit rushed. I'm going to Brighton this weekend. And uh, I just simply ran out of time to do uh, more laps, more running and kind of more analysis on, you know, where I was losing time and where uh, I was okay. So, I can do more in the future, let me know. I will certainly give my best shots in the future events and uh, we'll see what we can muster up. I'll leave a link to the guy's uh, PS4 time that I keep referencing in this video. Um, you'll see some of the driving habits he was doing and it was certainly helping. So, compare that against your own, compare that against me. And, um, yeah, hopefully that can make you guys a little bit better. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have a good Easter period. And who knows, maybe one of these days we'll get close to the eSports guys. But until then, I've got a lot of sweating to do.